Right, got a um, Bristol Infinity Scroll. It's about three, three and a half horsepower, single phase. Um, to cut open, it's uh, that one that failed just before Christmas. So uh, we'll start cutting around here, see if we can get the top off. I've not ever took one of these apart, so I don't know how they come apart. I've done a few Copeland ones, but not a, not a Bristol, so this will be quite interesting. Right. Go. It seems to still be attached. We've got the top off. Um, it was just this little tube that was stuck in here. It seals the um, discharge port from the suction side of the compressor, and it's just sealed with an O ring in there. Um, something that's interesting it's got, see that looks blocked off, but it's got a little. Uh, so you have like a little swing check valve in there. And that's a uh, pressure relief valve. If the head pressure is too high, it'll bleed it back into the suction. <coughs> We've got another little relief valve in there. The tip of that scroll does look like it's it's quite worn. See more when we get the top off. We've got the top off. Um, it's that little ring that keeps the uh, scroll from turning. Uh, that's your crankshaft, which is not. It's not seized. Um, it's the underneath side of the scroll, that's where the crankshaft goes in. That's uh, a wear ring that goes around. It's made of plastic, I think. It's probably like an oil seal that sits in there. That's your little grooves that locate in uh, these two corners here. So that can move like that, and then this can move move like that so between the two it can orbit. Sure, um, this is uh, this looks quite dry this top um, there's no oil on here when it come off and this looks it looks bone dry in there I think that is what is seized up the crank's okay There's plenty of oil on this, on the actual, uh, that face there has a <coughs> little bleed hole there which is probably something to do with lubrication. Yeah, there's plenty of oil in there. Not much of a wear lip on there. I've known that little piece there. When the scrolls wear, that's where it kind of shows up. Hmm. Not just all bits. Here it's pumping, so it's not a great deal. I think that's a, that's what's killed it. It's a <clears throat> um, 
that piece there is seized up. So <clears throat> hmm. could be a lack of oil, I suppose. Even though there's plenty of oil here, I think that would be loose by what's coming up through the through the crankshaft through that hollow piece there, and then it would drain back down that other hole there. So maybe it's. Um, Something's gone wrong down there. <coughs> right. Finally got this bit out. Um. That bearing looks um, pretty good to be honest with you. It feels a bit gritty, but I think that's um, um, dust from the uh, grinding. It's that seal again, I think it's got two, two seals in there. I expect they just help keep a film of oil in between the two bits there. That part there must be the um, oil return to the sump from what's come up to that bearing. Let's see if we can get the uh, casing off. Well, that's the rotor out. That bottom bearing looks okay. That's the oil pump as it spins around. It's got a small hole there. It sort of centrifuges it up the um, um, crankshaft. That bear in there looks okay. And that's the one that's seized up. I think it's score marks on there but it's a little, little bit of copper some copper plating on there and not too bad but that looks pretty good. I've seen certainly seen a lot worse when I've took things apart. So I think really the only thing that's um, looks bad is that top end seized up. Yeah, it doesn't look very there's not a lot of oil on this, but if it's got really hot, it could have driven all the oil away anyway. If it's got hot enough to sort of burn it off. So, I mean, there's plenty of oil around here. Right, there's some oil in the sump there, but. Great deal. I think that's actually will just be sat there. Well, there you go. No, there's not a lot of oil in there. A few little metallic blobs in the bottom. It might be from the grinding. A bit more like uh, more like bits of copper. It's probably come out of the pipework when it was done. Well, I've managed to get that um, bearing out. Um, just on the crankshaft, and then put some. Um, release spray down there and worked it back and forth and it's come out. I don't know, it's got a few sort of scuff marks on it. There's no real major scoring. You can't even feel that with your finger. 
Um, same with that, that's nice and smooth. It just seems to be uh, Very tight fit in there. So, uh, usually when you see these that have been running for a while, say with low oil, you'd get a load of score marks on all the bearings. Um, furthest from the oil would be first and it work its way back down. Now, I've seen one of these that, that was, you could actually rock the crankshaft back and forth, it was that bad. This top bearing had gone, this bit had completely gone. So I've certainly seen them much worse than, um, than this one. Uh, It does seem to be a very, very tight fit, so something's happened. <laughs> 